to my place? Oh, please, I am not that desperate. <laughs> Fuck you, Alice. Neither am I. <laughs> Dana, I'm what? just, I'm just, you know, I, I don't want to be one of those people who sleeps with her friends. Neither do I. Right, okay, well, let's not have sex. No, never. Okay? Never. She's got a thing for a chef. I do. I'm gonna help you, even though you're extremely annoying. Do you know the name of this girl, first and last? Yes, I do. Sometimes she wears a stripy apron. <laughs> well, I haven't really talked to her up close yet. What do you guys shout across the room? This is where you take the flower. God. So fucking cute. Yuck. And you know, I fucked up so bad with Laura. I'm gonna come with you. No, we're coming. I'm gonna be with you, and you're gonna tell your mom and dad, when mom and dad, I'm a lesbian. No big deal. So, so glad to meet you. I'm Tanya, guest liaison. I'm here to take care of all your needs. You look phenomenal. I bet you would in anything that you were. Soon, I gotta... Dana, yeah. I'm not gonna do this with you. I'm not gonna be your secret lover, your backdoor woman. I really, really wanna be with you. You do? Yes. Well then, will you break up with her after the tournament? But I know in my heart that we don't belong together. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't even know how it happened. I couldn't help it. New couple in the house. Give it up for Alice and Dana. Alice, you're a funny lady, and it's 
one of the things I love about you, and I'm not the only one. You're totally topping me again. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't hear you through the feathers, Pillow Queen. <laughs> Love you. I'm gonna set the alarm, okay? I can see she loves you. You can? Yeah, you can't. Wow. Come on. Hi, baby. Wow. Look at you. Can we have dinner? Yeah, I'd love to. Would that be okay with you, babe? Oh, oh, you don't have to get permission from me to go. With your ex, you guys should be friends. What do you think about moving in with me? Mm -hmm. Really? What? Because I kind of feel like maybe we're. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm, things are going so good right do you now. I see other people because. Alice, where did you get that from what I just said? Way. I don't know. I, it's making me act weird. I think it's good. He's the one for you. She's the girl of your dreams. She's your one and only. A and you know because <laughs> the smell of her makes your head swim because you get a physical jolt every time she sends a glance your way. Boom, it's six months later, and she's touching someone else. I just want to know if you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm glad one of us is. I'm sorry that I made you unhappy, but Alice, I don't know. I don't know what to do. What can I do? But I'm working really hard to get over this. Maybe we can be friends again. I just wanted to tell you guys I'm having a little operation tomorrow. Laura's gonna be there. It's okay, really. I removed her breast and found it's already spread. Oh my god. Come here. My ex and my best friend, Dana, she's um. She's 32 fucking years old and she has breast cancer and today she was going in for chemo and I just would have, I wanted to be there. So. You're still in love with her. This anger in her, it's, it's nothing that I've ever seen in her before. Dana needs you. She needs you, Alice. like my favorite person to do stuff with. Just don't go. No, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. I love you. I love you, too. How many days have you been in this room? Five. And has she gone anywhere? No. Why don't you go take a walk? Back. I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I don't know how much we're gonna miss you. I'd like to read from my favorite chapter in the book titled Dana. You are my sunshine, is without doubt the most annoying song ever written. But Dana loved it. She was my sunshine. One day, a nurse 
convinced me to take a break, so I left her side. And then I found it. A weird, cheap plastic plant that played, you guessed it, you are my sunshine. I was standing there buying that stupid thing when Dana died. For a long time, I wondered if she had planned it that way, waited for me to leave the room so that I wouldn't watch her take her last breath. I still reach for the phone to call her when something incredible happens. When I sold my talk show, she's the one I wanted to tell. Dana has shown me that love moves across time and space. Because even though she's not here, her love is still in me. Her laugh is still close. That terrible song is still stuck in my head. In celebrating her memory and writing about her here, I hope she becomes someone that you know too.